Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Saray from I Am Saray Bailey on Instagram. So this is my Kate Spade uh, planner. is a, a, a planner. It's a personal size planner that I use as a wallet. I've been using this for years. I had the black one, but recently I got the uh, pink one and I've had some requests to do a walkthrough on how I have it set up. So let's go ahead and share a little bit more on this. Before I get started, I do want to give you full disclosure regarding this particular planner. This is no longer sold really anywhere except for maybe eBay. You can find some some that folks might be distashing. So that's where I found mine. I bought mine originally, the black one that I have from the Kate Spade store, but then they stopped making it. So they discontinued it. From time to time, you can still find it on like a Kate Spade outlet, but it's a different type of leather. It still looks like the Safiano leather, but it's not quite the same. So this one is a genuine Safiano leather, uh, but this one was used that I got off of eBay, but it was in really great condition. And then the black one that I have is still in like excellent condition because I took really great care of it. And um, it, and then the Safiano leather itself is really forgiving. So I absolutely love it. So I love that it has the gold accents, the um, hardware, and then the pink, the blush pink, of course, is really cute. Mentioned, this is a personal planner so it's like a personal size planner um, however I use it as a wallet so um, I'll just walk you through how I have it set up and some folks from when these were super popular this were super popular a few years ago will have some and I've heard from a few folks that you would like some ideas on how to set it up so maybe this can help you too However, it doesn't need, need to be a Kate Spade wallet. Any sort of personal size planner can function in the same way. So if this is a setup that you are that you like, that you think would work for you for your wallet, you can pretty much do this with any personal size uh, planner. And Filofax actually has a similar wallet setup um, or planner style as well that could work very well. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Kate Spade uh, one. But I do love the Kate Spade brand and I love uh, the color, etc. So first starting off over here, I have some, these are all of gift cards. So I actually have um, all of my gift cards here so that way if I'm ever out in one of these stores I remember to use them because otherwise I will forget this wallet has a pocket right over here I'm just trying to be careful with what I show you because I do have my vaccine card there so that's where I keep it that's pretty much the only thing I keep there sometimes I'll throw some receipts etc but that's what it looks like so it's a pocket and then here, all of the things that I have, I don't have any inserts. I don't keep any inserts here at all, really, because I don't use it as a planner. Um, but I did find these card holders from Amazon. These are actually a Filofax brand, um, Amazon Find. So you can find the card holders. And here I have three Erin Condren compliment cards just because I had some extras. I also have a page lifter. So this is design and this one I got from OK Plans, if I'm not mistaken. I got it out a little while back, so um, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it's from her, from Kimberly over at OK Plans. And this is in intended so that when you close it, it's super easy uh, and things don't get caught or anything like that, especially when you have a lot of things here. So anytime you're using a binder or even my like my A5 ring agenda, I have a page lifter also from OK Plans. She makes the best page lifters and it makes it really easy for you to be able to flip, you know, close it and open it, etc. So after that page lifter, I actually have a set of, I think it's 12 cash envelopes. I have gone away from using this system I don't know if I ever really committed to it, but I'm really com trying to commit to commit to it now for my budgeting because my spending has been out of control and I have some hefty financial goals for 2022. So I'm thinking um, maybe my cash envelope system will, will, will work. Now, these envelopes are awesome. These are from Papery Planning. 
and these are clear and they come you can get them customized or you can get them not customized so i got them not customized and i created my own budget um, category labels and i foiled them and i love the way that they look they have the gold foil i'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better right here and these are all of my categories so i have dining out groceries household hair and nails entertainment planning of course um i have gas i have gifts clothing um, makeup miscellaneous and then i have a blank one these um cash envelopes actually come in with these um trackers so you can track um, how much you're adding to the envelope how much you're taking out etc and the cash fits really nicely in here. Now, most of these are empty because I haven't started the system just yet. I will start it with the next, with a December budget, uh, but that's how these are intended to be used. You can purchase a separate uh, pad of trackers that you can use once these run out. Now, some of these categories, I typically don't use cash for. So for example, gas, I don't use any cash because if it's in the middle of winter, I'm not going to get out of my car to walk to wherever to hand someone money. Uh, for gas, I use my debit card or a credit card for that. So I still want to track that expense. So even if you don't use the cash envelopes, as they are intended you can make it work for you so many of these categories i will actually never have any cash in them but i will track how much i'm spending per category so at the end of the month or whenever i'm reconciling my budget i know exactly how much i spent per category so that's really it's just the visual aspect of it that will i think that will help me um a lot so that is what i'm using these for and these are perfectly sized for a personal size planner now in this next section I have, this is another um, kind of like insert thing. Also from, I found it on Amazon, but it's really a Filofax brand and it's a top loading envelope. And here I have labels and stamps. So I still write checks from time to time and mail letters, etc. So I do have this pocket full of envelopes and, and etc. Now, this next section, I might not necessarily go one by one uh, just because, well, actually, all of them are protected. So I don't really think that anyone can see any of my credit card numbers or my debit card numbers. But basically what I have is um, I have reward cards here. And I did make these labels because even though, um, well, one was for the video. Um, and two, the reason why I kind of went a little bit above and beyond is because I am going to leave them here just so that I know that I have a dedicated spot for each of the cards. So all of these cards are um, have to do with rewards. The next set are debit cards or memberships. And as you can see, if I flip it over, I know which one it is. So I can just pretty much just take it out. Um, the next set are debit cards. And then I think these are all the back of the cards, but still I'll just protect them. The next one is credit cards. And at the end, I have like my car insurance, my health insurance, dental and vision information, and then any miscellaneous. It could be like, for example, my library card or my Charlie car whenever I take the tea in Boston, which never really happens, but sometimes I may from time to time uh, if I have to go into Boston. I've had, had to do it a few times, so I keep my transportation card there. So that um, brings us to the end of the planner. And then here in the back, it has just a pocket and it does have a pen loop. So I don't really keep a pen in here because, you know, I'm not really writing anything um, so far, but I might have to keep one um, so that I can update my cash envelope. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add my favorite pen. I want extra. I have a million of these, which is the Pilot Precise. So I will keep, it's like so not broken into because I never have one in there. So I have the pen right there so I can update my cash envelope. So yeah, so I really love this system. Uh, I love this wallet uh, for a long time. Like I said, I've been using it for a while, but now I just feel like it's a lot more organized. 
So yeah, that's it. So hopefully that gave you some ideas if you have a similar system or if you're looking to set up something like this, gave you some ideas of what you can do to set yours up. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. And as always, friends, I'll see you next time.